Hello viewers, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Crispy TTV, and welcome back to what should have been my annual Meet the Artist Q&A. Unfortunately, I, um, I did not do a video for that last year, but if you want to check out my Q&A videos for 2021 and 2022, I will link both of those in the description below. And I will be showcasing all of my previous Meet the Artist pieces at the end of this video. Having said that, strap in and enjoy the video. For the last two videos I have done for this, I asked the general consensus of Twitter and Instagram for my questions. However, this year I instead went directly to all of my friends and asked them individually for questions, subsequently yielding far more and better results. So thank you guys for your input, genuinely. As per tradition, let's start with some of the basic info. My name is Tyler, but of course I'd prefer if you refer to me as Crispy. I live in the eastern US. At the time of recording this, I am 20 years old, somewhere in the 5 foot 6, 7, 8 range, and I am an ENFPT. You can find everything you need to know about me on my card linked below, including all my social media, my boundaries, and my commission prices. I've gotten many questions about my artistic background, so I will go into the bulk of that first. What program do you use? I use an iPad and Apple Pencil to draw, and my main program is Procreate, but I have considered going back to also using Medibang. As far as streaming, I use Streamlabs, and to edit my videos, I use Vegas Pro 18. What are your most commonly used brushes? Here are the pinned brushes I use on Procreate. What got you into art? I've always been a creatively inclined child, but I really started going full send into art as a hobby almost 10 years ago at the time of recording this. I was heavily inspired by a creator in the Five Nights at Freddy's art community by the name of Artie Joyful. I was fascinated by the concept of speed paints and time lapses, so I decided I would start making my own art. If you watched my Halloween special, I showcased many of my early pieces of traditional art. As I delved more into the art scene, I came across a specific community that drove my inspiration forward exponentially. The PPG Speed Paint community. The Powerpuff Girls art style was a very simple one to replicate, especially in free, easy access paint programs like MS Paint. Because of this, there were many aspiring artists using this as a mean to boost creativity and gain traction. Two of the most influential creators of the time, and also my biggest inspirations from this field, were Nini the Kitty and Elena, both of whom have long since rebranded. I actually do have the honor and the privilege of calling these people my friends, and I will be linking their socials in the description. I eventually made an attempt to start making speed paints of my own, but as you could imagine, it was not easy with an 8-year-old MacBook that only worked when it was plugged in, and a super slow screen recording program that kept crashing. But that didn't stop me. At some point, I had finally gotten my Mac Mini replaced, and I was gifted my first Wacom tablet. And I was off. Unfortunately, none of the speed paints from my early days are even accessible anymore, so sorry about that. What or who are your biggest inspirations? Inspiration and influences on my art style come to me every single day, over time, and in many different ways. It could be an art style from a game, a show, or an artist I like. It could be a post or an art trend on social media that I came across, or it could simply be me trying something new for a change and learning from it. Aside from art, my partner, my mom, my brother, and my inner circle of friends have been my biggest supporters, and they really push me to be better every day. But not only the people I know, but the people I haven't met yet. I hope one day to have an even bigger outreach and community, and that goal is something that keeps me going among other things. If you were to change your art style or form, what would you change? I've dabbled in many different kinds of art throughout my life, from physical arts like painting and origami, to performing arts like theater and show choir. In terms of art medium, if I weren't doing digital art, I think I'd paint a lot more. I really enjoy using acrylics. I'm also learning how to crochet so I can hand make things for myself and my friends. As for art style, I would definitely like to dig more into a horror type style like Draxum. Something that is far less saturated and more messy and invokes an unsettling feeling. I attempted this once and it <laughs> ended up looking more unsettled than unsettling. What's your favorite part of drawing? 
It really depends on the piece I'm working on, but overall I just really enjoy seeing a piece come together and the reaction I get after posting my art makes the hours of work I put into it worthwhile. What's your favorite project that you've gotten to work on? Most definitely my Halloween special. I put a lot of work and love into it and I will share it every chance that I get. If you were to eat your drawing tablet, how would you feel? Inconvenienced. What fandom or fandoms did you draw the most art for? Five Nights at Freddy's, Powerpuff Girls, My Little Pony, and Danganronpa are the four that come to my head. When did you realize you wanted to do art as a job? I'm not in a place where I can consider art to be a job as much as it is a hobby. I don't have a big enough outreach and money for materials and preparation is tight. Maybe in the future when we have our own place. What is your character lore? For those of you out of the loop, hi, I am a backrooms dweller who is utilizing the internet provided to stream and keep myself sane. Stay tuned for the debut stream and keep an eye on the channel. What is your go-to Subway sandwich order? Depending on the day, either a cold cut combo or a spicy Italian, six inches on urban cheese bread with pepper jack cheese, pickles, black olives, sometimes jalapenos, ranch, and Baja Chipotle. Whether or not it's toasted also depends on the day. What is your favorite cartoon, TV show, or movie? My favorite cartoons are SpongeBob and Ed, Ed, and Eddie. My favorite movie is Ratatouille, and I don't really watch many TV shows, but when I do, it's usually on the Food Channel. If you were a Five Nights at Freddy's animatronic, what would your name and animal be? Funny you should ask that, the first OC I ever made was a bat animatronic called Audrey. I made her 10 years ago and plan on bringing her back with even more and better lore than before. Stay tuned. What's your favorite Pokemon? Steelix, next question. What's your favorite music genre? It will change every couple of months or so, but as of recent, I've been into 2000s rave music and Eurobeat. If you had a fursona, what animal would it be? A bat, a fox, or a raccoon? What was your biggest ever hyperfixation? The number of times I have said Five Nights at Freddy's already in this video is almost embarrassing. Do you have any OSHA violations? Where did you hide the body? What got you into VTubing? Definitely the mechanics and the schematics of live 2D rigging. The process of making a compilation of 2D images move as if it were 3D is really fun and fascinating. I enjoy watching people like Cilia, Moshi, and Chupiko specifically for their rigging content. What games would you want to play on stream in the future? I would love to have the capacity in my computer to be able to stream larger games like Elden Ring, but most of the games I will be playing in the near future will be any game compatible with the Switch, including, but not limited to, Subnautica, Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley, Amnesia, Pokemon, and FIVE NIGHTS AT FRI- What inspired your Persona design? I always like to keep the design of my Persona pretty close to what I look like in person, but this year I decided to stray a little more away from it. I decided to go for more of a streetwise design, inspired by the kind of music I've been listening to at the time. I actually own almost every item on my Persona except for the totally not lore specific TV patch and the hat which I saw on Amazon and thought it was amazing, and wanted to incorporate it in my design. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, that specific hat is no longer available, so I have opted to either learn to crochet or get someone else to make it for me. What would you say are your biggest challenges? For sure my financial situation, but we're getting there. What is your favorite thing about your art style? It's very clean and bright and sometimes very crunchy. What is your own opinion about yourself? It's a heavy burden being this funny, cool, and sexy. No, but seriously, I am just a person who is trying hard to be better every day. A better creator, a better artist, and a better friend. Which video game universe would you live in, given the choice? This is a hard one. I have always been fascinated with the ocean, so Subnautica would be a good choice for me. Realistically, I could also settle for a game like Stardew Valley or Animal Crossing. I could live a life of luxury in Royal High or have an adventure in Pokemon. But of course, lest we not forget, to vote for me for most likely to get hired at Freddy Fazbear- I have a problem. Anyway. Any of those options I feel are viable, but I don't think I could give you a concrete answer. 
And last, but certainly not least, any advice for people getting into art? It takes time. You are not going to see your art as perfect on the first try. It is not a talent. It is a passion and a learned skill. Something that takes time and attention. And if you find yourself getting frustrated, walk away from it and come back later with a fresh perspective. And I highly encourage the use of references. It's a great way to learn. I use Pinterest. It's my favorite place to collect references and inspiration. And don't be afraid to try different things. The only limit to your art is your imagination. And that brings both our Q&A and our speed paint to a close. Quick announcement before we close out. There will be no Minecraft Resurgence Mega episode. The file was simply too big for my computer. However, I do have all of those VODs on a flash drive, so those memories have been preserved. With that said, I want to thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I apologize it took so long to come out. Lots of fun stuff coming out in the near future. Read the description, check out my card, and we'll see you next time.